What's up, YouTube? Man, you guys blown me away with the comments on uh on last video about the trolls. Uh doesn't bother me. Those uh thumbs down, so but I didn't want the new guys to get dis discouraged. Uh it happens. You got people who hate life so much that all they can do is sit there and just wait for a video to pop up to go thumbs down. <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> Boy, I really, I bet he really hates me. Water off the duck's back, bro. Smoking. My bent country gent. Hope you can't hear the music because I heard a. Uh, couple of our community if I have music playing in the background I can't watch the videos up in Canadia stand as he calls it Richard T my Rick Black pipes tamper golf tea tamper because it works I don't use my finger this time where'd it go what I'm smoking and I'm not getting a big head, but I am so I've read mixed reviews on this. I'm smelling my pipe as it burns. I personally am enthralled with this blend here on my collar. Uh from Cornell and Deal. Oh, by the way, the pipe gifted to me by uh, Brother Giles Cassidy. You know I love my gobs. It says, Grandma always kept a couple bowls of this fragrant blend of Virginia's Burleys and a dash of deer tongue and perique around as potpourri to make her favorite bows feel right at home when they came a-calling. A, a Robillard blend. If I butchered that, I'm sorry. Get the Greek on that. Uh, retro hell. Uh, I, uh, I had to smoke a couple of few bowls. I knew I liked it, but I didn't know how much. And I'm like, Man, this stuff's really good. Well, there's a cut of it. A rough, somewhat ribbon cut. I don't know what you call it. I call it good. When you, oh my God, when you open this tin. It's got... Now, I've, like I said, I told you before, I don't have a palate for uh, smelling unicorn parts and all that. But when I do open the tin, I do get a Swedish, not Swedish, but sweet ish um, kind of note. Uh, Cinnamon, cinnamon, but not. Real pleasurable. I mean, I could see how that could be a potpourri sitting in a bowl somewhere. Definitely. Retro hell that pre. But I do, I do get a sweet, somewhat sweet note. I get uh, the perique for sure, especially on retro hell. But you get a little bit of that perique. And I guess that's the Virginias that are being the sweet, and the, and the uh, maybe it's aged Burleys because I know aged Burleys uh, 
ooh, somebody just hit me up a boxer. Um, the aged burleys can become pretty sweet. So that's my non-review review of Joe McCuller. I, I, I really can't complain, compare it to anything, y'all, to be honest with you. To give you a, uh, that deer tongue in it is, uh, it's all on its own, man. I mean, to tell you, it, it gives it such a good flavor. Uh, Jer I'm sorry, I got lost in it. Jeremy Larson commented because I was, I found that this smokes really well with this. And I think it was on my old IG. I got something to say about that in a minute. But I said, I don't know if it's the name of the gentleman caller or the country gentleman, but they absolutely complement each other unbelievably well. I I won't smoke that in anything. I won't smoke in a briar. Uh, I, I don't, I think I tried it in a legend, but that's where it's at with that. For me, it, with that gentleman caller, man, y'all, if you like a, uh, it's not overly peppery, it's got a sweet note to it on the back end, um, Retro Hill is freak for sure, but if it's, uh, like I said, I can't comp compare it to nothing, so take that for what it's worth, uh, from a non-reviewer. <laughs> Like I said before, here's my reviews. Yep, like it. I'm definitely buying that again. I actually didn't buy this one. Thank you, Swamp Piper 84. Uh, my brother down there in the swamp. Uh, the IG thing. I wiped my IG account. Um... My phone, which took my boxer. I'm so happy it didn't do my, I'm so glad it didn't do uh, my YouTube. Because I would have been devastated. Still pretty pissed because I lost a lot of good pictures. If you can't hear it, and I hope you can't, you got Motorhead playing in the background. Rest in peace, Lemmy. We've lost a lot of good, uh, Legends, um, the drummer for The Who passed away a few days ago. I mean, Glenn Fry, come on, guys. We lost Lemmy. We lost Snape, dude. <laughs> that one. I read this girl's post. That gutted her. That she said that gutted me. And I was, yeah, it kind of gutted me, too. I mean, they all did because... I was such a fan of all of them. Ziggy Stardust. David Bowie. I just, man. It's been a devastating couple few weeks. Anyway. The IG post. I'm so glad. I haven't got them all back yet. But the people. I'm going through other people's followers. And trying to find everybody that I have fought. That I followed on my last one. And following them. So they, they know I'm still here. So. Thank you so much for refollowing me, you guys. I don't mean to be a pain in the ass. Uh, no, I won't let that crap happen again. I can tell you that right now. Because that, that was kind of, that hurt when I lost all the pictures. Hopefully, uh, the new guys watched a lot of the new guys have watched, which I know something a lot of them have, that last video of mine, because those, <laughs> they ain't nothing. Be proud you get them. I am. I'm doing something right. Uh, but thanks, guys, again. A um, lot, a lot of good comments on that video. 
and I appreciate every one of them. I'm going to have to go through and thumbs them up, thumbs up them all, all those replies. Jeremy, you're right. That deer tongue, boy, it sets it off, don't it? Mm, Dang, I'm Jeremy Larson. You're not following him, follow him. Uh, very informative uh, pipe presenter for the YouTube community. Big part of us. Uh, Richard T., I'm hoping you can't hear this. Uh, I'm trying to keep my mind straight, so I put a little background noise. That way you can watch this one. Past couple, he couldn't watch because I had music going in the background. When did Canada become communist? I don't understand. I love Canada. I've been to Toronto three times. I've been northern Ontario fishing. Way northern Ontario. Getting like big old 43-inch pike. Oh, yeah. That was a blast. Uh, Vancouver once. It's a beautiful, beautiful country with beautiful people in it, man. They are so, yeah, no, not all of them, but just good people. Uh, caught hell for a lot of them. <laughs> for my accent up there a lot, but other than that, really good-hearted people up there. Anyway. It's good. Gentleman caller, guys. Gets the thumbs up from old Ozark Hillbilly 71. Uh, I think there was more I wanted to say, but I'll let y'all go. Be good. Or be good at it, y'all. And love, peace, and hair grease. Thank you, Gentleman Jim. You're righteous, brother. You're another big part of this community that I cherish. You, Hillman, and everybody, every one of you, I cherish all of you.